Hello, and welcome back to the Hellfire Commentary's dramatic reading of My Immortal. Chapter 30. A.N. Stop flabbing the story, okay? You do not know what's even gonna happen, okay, four ones. So fool you, three ones. If you flab, you will be a prep, so Al flabbers can kiss my ass, three ones. Soz for soz for saying Alzheimer's is dangerous, but that's the mystery's opening, cause society basically sucks. Thanks to Raven, you rock big, free ones. Lots of X's. 666, lots of X's. No, Eleven, we screamed sadly. Snap started loafing meanly. He took out a camera anvilly. Then, he came towards Darko. He took some stones out of his pocket. He put the stones around Draco and knit a candle. What the fuck are you doing? I shouted angrily. Snoop laughed meanly. He pulled down his pants. I gasped. There was a dark mark on his you-know-what, Eleven. He waved his wand and a knife came. He gave the knife to me. You must stab Vrompire, he said to me. If you don't, then I'll wrap Draco one. No, you fucking bastard one, I yielded. But then Draco looked at me sadly with his evil gothic red eyes that looked so depressant and sexy. He looked exactly like a pentagram. Lol, get it, cause I'm a satanitz, between Kurt Cobain and Gerard. But then I looked at Vampire, and he looked so smexy too with his gothic black hair. I thought of the time when we screwed, and the time I did it with Draco and Dumbledore came, and the time where Draco almost committed suicide, and Vampire was so sportive. Snipe laughed angrily. He started to pray to Voldemort. He started to do an incapacitation dancing around the Stokes, whipping Draco and Vampire. Suddenly, an idea I had. I closed my eyes, and using my vampire powers, I sent a telepathic massage to Draco and Vampire, so they would disrupt Snape. Double Dork will get you, Draco shouted. Yeah, just wait up till that mystery find out, Eleven, Vampire yelled. Meanwhile, I took out my wand. You ridiculous Donderhead, Triple One, Snoop yielded. He took off all of Draco's clothes, just as he was about to rape him. Crocio, I shitted, pointing my wound. Snoop screamed. <laughs> Crocio, I shouted, pointing my wand. Snoop screamed and started running around the room, scrubbing. Meanwhile, I grabbed my black mobile and sent a text to Sirius. I stopped doing Crucio. You done the head, Triple One. I'm going to kill Shooter Snape, but suddenly Severus came. Snake put the whip behind his back. Oh, hello, Sev. I was just teaching them something, he lied. But then Lucian and Professor Trevely came into the room, and they said, and Sirius unlocked the chains and put them around Snap. Then Professor Trevely said, Come on, Ebony, let's go. End of chapter. This just keeps getting worse and worse, ladies and germs. See you all next time in chapter 31. Bye bye.